For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Splee, reporting from the annual scientific meeting of the American College of Gastroenterology. In a meta-analysis of 21 studies, researchers at Wayne State University found that proton pump inhibitor use was associated with an 80% increased risk of C. difficile-associated diarrhea. Clostridium difficile is something that we encounter almost daily in our practice as gastroenterologists. It's the most prevalent healthcare-associated diarrhea in developed countries. We know that it costs about $3 billion to take care of Clostridium difficile associated uh, diarrhea related uh, medical expenses. Um, we know that the incidence is increasing. We also know that the severity is increasing. It's not only that C. diff gives you a one-time episode of diarrhea, it also gives you recurrent episodes. It is important, therefore, to understand how we can control this disease. We analyzed 21 studies with a total of 133,000 participants, which is a large cohort, uh, which gave us a result of possibly 80% increase associated with uh, PPI use. So this tells us that uh, PPI is a significant association or a risk factor for the development of Clostridium difficile associated diarrhea. I think it's prudent to think about Clostridium difficile when we prescribe or use proton pump inhibitors. It is critical to at least be cautious uh, to uh, confine the use to appropriate indications. Experts at the meeting commented on the challenges of managing Clostridium difficile infections. If you can decrease the uh, rate of recurrence in, in patients with uh, C. diff, you have less of these people coming back in the hospital and being potential infectors of, of other people in that healthcare setting. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Splee, 